Hello friends, welcome back to the Android Guy. I'm your host Hardik. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to root any Android device, well, almost any Android device, whether a phone or tablet, running on any Android version. Let's get started. Now in this video, for demonstration purposes, I'll be rooting my friends Samsung Galaxy S4 running on Android version 5.0.1 Lollipop. Now it will work on any other device too. This device was never rooted before. Let me show you if we go over here, as you can see, there is no SuperSue app installed, which means this device is unrooted at this moment. But before we get started, make sure that you enable USB debugging on your device. Now turning on the USB debugging is pretty simple. Now for that, uh, head over to your phone settings and then uh, scroll down and find the developer options and open it and then make sure that you enable developer option and scroll down and hit on USB debugging hit on OK and USB debugging is enabled on your device now if you do not have developer options over here which happens in the newer Android versions it's pretty simple to activate that go to your about devices and uh, hit on build number five to seven times and once you do that uh, and we hit on that for five to seven times go back and we'll have the developer options over here now once USB debugging is enabled the device part is done let's connect our device to a computer and root this phone up now before we get started make sure that you have at least 30 to 50 percent of battery left on your device once you ensure that uh, now we'll be connecting our phone to the computer via the USB cable so let's connect it up and let's place it over here now the phone part is done we'll be heading over to your computer and rooting this device up on your computer side you will need to download the king o root software so simply head over to the kingoapp.com or click the link in the description and download the king o root software and install it on your pc i have already installed it on my pc let me go ahead and show you let's open this up and as you can see it says device is not connected now make sure that your device is uh, connected to your pc via the debugging mode should be enabled right as soon as you connect it it will start installing the driver it might show you a prompt on your phone uh, over here is hit on ok and once you hit on ok it will start installing the driver now make sure that you have an internet connection uh, without internet connection it will not work now as you can see it has already recognized my device it says samsung galaxy gt19500 which is samsung galaxy s4 my device and it says root status is no which means my device is not rooted and let's click on root over here again guys you need to know that root will void your warranty you need to read the instructions over here root will void your warranty so you know if you're rooting make sure that uh, you know that so hit on root now during the entire process your phone will flash a couple of time uh, you will see the kingo root logo on your phone it might get disconnected and reconnected automatically and at the end your phone will reboot during the entire process, do not touch your computer, do not touch your phone, and do not touch your USB cable. For the next 5 to 15 minutes, just sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and let the Kingo Root app do the magic. And by no means disconnect your phone during the entire process. If your phone is rooted, at the end your phone will automatically reboot and it will show on your computer that your phone is rooted. If your phone is not rooted, not worry, your phone will automatically restart and it will be back to normal. So it's a pretty safe formula to root your device. Now we're talking about Kingo Root. Kingo Root is an all-in-one universal one-click routing software, which means it is specifically designed to work on more than one Android device and to root them. Now, as the name suggests, it's an one-click routing software, which means you will only need to connect your device with your computer, enable USB debugging, and hit on the root button, and it'll do the rest of the process for you. Now, since the routing thing is really tricky for Android device because there is no one way of routing all the Android devices because the routing process differs from device to device, Android versions to versions and also Android kernel to kernel which means even though two, two people have the same device running on the same Android version still there will be different routing process for both of them in that case Kingo root is very handy because it's specifically designed to work with a lot of devices out there so we'll be testing out with Samsung Galaxy S4 and we'll be checking out if it works on it or not and I'll talk about compatibility at the end of the video Now as you can see guys it's saying my device is rooted and my phone automatically rebooted so yep it's successful uh, and it took roughly 6 minutes and 30 seconds 6 minutes and 45 seconds to be exact so it was a pretty fast process so let's head over to my phone and check it out now guys the rooting process is completed uh, if I go to the app drawer and you can see over here uh, the super Sue 
is automatically installed on my device which means the device is rooted now you can further check it out by installing the root check or root checker app from the play store and if you hit on that it will show you whether the device is rooted or not and as you can see uh, my samsung galaxy s4 is rooted running on lollipop version 5.0.1 and uh, Super Sue by Chainfire is also installed on it. You can also check out some additional information which is not useful. And if I go back, as you can see, you will you will have the Kingo Root app over here which you can remove. Uh, it's not required anymore. You can uninstall it. And if you go back, uh, you have Super Sue over here. You can open up Super Sue. And you can see I have no root apps installed on my device at this moment, but uh, it's rooted. So yeah, friend, that's about it. Uh, it will definitely work on most of the Android devices out there. I have tested it on Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I also tested it on some Micro Max and uh, Xiaomi devices. It did work well, uh, but definitely work on most of the devices. But it might not work on some devices. You can definitely try it out. It's not harmful. It will not break your device for sure. Uh, it did not work in some devices. Uh, I have tested about 12 devices with uh, Kingo Root and out of 12, uh, 8 were successfully rooted. Uh, so stay tuned, they will uh, definitely add uh, these root capabilities to your phone. But most of the modern phones, most of the modern devices, most of the well-known branded devices uh, are rooted by uh, this. If your device is rooted, do post it down in the comments so that other can uh, use this app to root their phone if they have the same phone. And do give it a thumbs up. If this video will, if, if this video helped you anyway, please give it a thumbs up that will help the channel to grow. Uh, and if I get 100 likes, I'll definitely make another part of the video in which I'll be showing you how to root your device without the computer. So do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Do watch my other video. Do like this video. And that's about it, friends. I'm your host Hardik from the Android Guy signing up. Take care, friends. Yeah.